Hi everybody, Nick from F-Zero Camera here. On the last two videos in this series, we went over how to install all of the elements into the intermediate sensor and how to assemble the camera into a system of linear motion as you see it here. In this video, we are gonna finalize the camera and get it ready to shoot by installing the bellows and by putting a taking camera and monitor at the back of the system. So the first thing that we're gonna do is install two sets of bellows. One set will go between our taking camera side and the intermediate sensor, and the other set of bellows goes between the intermediate sensor and the objective lens. Now, this side doesn't ever have to move once the camera is set up. Once you have these installed, they're gonna stay in place, and although they do move relative to the lens, they don't move relative to one another. So technically, this doesn't have to be a set of bellows, but it's the easiest way to do things. Bellows assembly is pretty straightforward. There is a metal frame on the inside of the bellows that gets gripped by the little bellows retaining clips on each lens carrier and the intermediate sensor. The only really important part of this step is to make sure you don't end up doing any damage to your intermediate sensor by scratching it. There we go. Beautiful. So now we will do the same thing. They just slide right in. The bellows clip slides down and you tighten the thumb screws. There we go. So that's the camera side finished, bellows installed, and we're just gonna repeat the process on the objective lens side. These side bumpers are to help make sure that the width is aligned. The bellows should just line up perfectly on those two bumpers. They help keep everything nice and tidy. So last step is to bring this guy over here. Lift and drop and tighten. So there we go. Don't worry if your bellows don't accordion out perfectly the first time you extend them. That's not necessary. And of course we can just do a little bit of this, make sure everything's looking good. And there is the completed and installed F-Zero camera. Now all that's left to do is install a taking camera at the back of the system. Okay, so here we are at the back of the F-Zero camera and I'm getting ready to install my taking camera, which in this case is a Canon R5C. I've got it here in a little small rig cage and it has a little HDMI adapter, but otherwise it's just the bare camera with the Canon 35 millimeter RF lens, which is a great candidate to be our taking lens on the intermediate sensor. Now, there are plenty of threads on the bottom of this cage uh, and I could just run a screw through this plate and attach it to one of those threads and call it a day. And that would probably be all right. And I have enough adjustment room to adjust this so that it's perfectly vertically centered. But what I wanna do is actually mount the camera upside down. Now this is optional, you don't have to do this, but it can make your life easier when you're monitoring because the image that comes into the intermediate sensor will be upside down. All lenses invert an image vertically. Your camera already does one inversion, but because we have one lens and then a second lens, there's two inversions. So the image is actually right side up and your camera is flipping it. So we're gonna flip the camera to just make everything right. So I'm gonna put an Arca Swiss plate on the top of this cage. All right, before I mount the clamp, I gotta figure out where this wants to go fore aft. So right about there. Okay, so that tells me I'm going into this, the third hole from the camera. Okay. Perfect, okay. You can see the camera's not perfectly flush up with this faceplate. We can adjust that later, or we can use other methods like a rubber hood or a step-up ring to make it perfectly flush. Right now, I'm just worried about the vertical axis here, and that's what these adjustment screws are for. We're gonna loosen those. We're gonna take off the camera too to be safe. Okay, and I think we're gonna be good to go down just one set of holes. All right, and these top two screws are gonna be kind of loose for now. I'm gonna do the fine adjustments to the height and then tighten everything down. 
Right, that's looking pretty peachy right there. Okay, I'm liking this. And you know what? I'm also gonna go ahead and adjust. There we go. All right, okay. So there it is. My camera is perfectly centered horizontally and vertically on the optical axis of the system. Great, now time for the monitor. So with such a shallow depth of field that you get from shooting with an F-Zero camera, uh, having a good monitor to achieve critical focus is important to say the least. So I'm using this seven inch Feel World monitor. Uh, it's, it's not super fancy, not super expensive, but it is super helpful for this system. Now, every component in the f camera has a bunch of threaded holes running along the top, just for being able to attach whatever kinds of things you need. Uh, NATO rails are one of the handiest things you can attach. I'm gonna put a NATO rail right on top of my front lens carrier here and attach the monitor to that. So the last step is just plugging everything in and turning it on and we are off to the races. All that's left is to start taking some of the wildest images you've ever seen. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and get your own camera at fzerocamera.com. Thanks for watching.